Driving up west in the Nafusa mountains, we see more signs of destruction. This is a town of Jadu, where a building was hit by a Grad missile. Its shell still stuck in the ground. In the main street of Jadu, another Grad impact. This missile hasn't exploded yet, so it's just sitting here with its deadly load, just 100 meters off Jadu's main hospital. And yet another direct impact, this time on a family home. This is Takwa, the daughter of the family who lived here. The family was lucky enough not to be in the house when the Grad missile struck. This is the hospital of Jadu, the main hospital of the region. It serves not only the local people with all sorts of problems, but also the fighters who get wounded in the battle with Qaddafi's troops. Dr. Isam al Haris was working in a hospital in Tripoli until two months ago, when he decided to return to his native Jadu to help out here. I came to help the people here because we, uh, the, I, I came at the beginning of March, uh, because there were uh, absolute shortage in in the physician and all medical staffs from technician, uh, doctors, nurses, uh, so. Uh, I considered this is my duty, uh, whatever the situation, is it dangerous or not. How was the situation in the hospital when you arrived here? Well, the situation was very bad, it's not, uh, it's not suitable to receive any injured people, even it's not uh, suitable to receive uh, a, 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 any emergency cases, whatever, injured or uh, emergency medical cases. W were there any doctors here? Uh, yes, uh, actually uh, they were foreigner doctors uh, from Ukraine. We have one, uh, one general practitioner uh, from Ukraine and uh, other pediatrician from Egypt, Egyptian. Uh, from Egypt and uh, another from um, anesthesia from Sudan, uh, one midwife and one gynecologist from Egypt as well. We have uh, uh, 10 nurses, but during this uh, the, the, the bombing and the revolution started and bombing of Gaddafi forces to Jadu and all, uh, all the mountains here. So many of the nurses, they couldn't uh, attend the hospital because they live far away from the hospital. Uh, uh, min minimum uh, 10 kilometers from uh, the hospital. So it's difficult to, to come to, uh, to, to the hospital because of, a lot of uh, for many reasons. Uh, one of the reasons, and very important, uh, is the bombing and the explosions uh, from everywhere around. Uh, the second is the uh, the, the benzene. Uh, yeah, is it, it, this is the big problem. Uh, third, the electricity, and we were really in a critical situation and very dangerous situation. Its location in a war zone is not the only problem for the hospital of Jado. It also suffers from decades of neglect. Until a couple of weeks ago, this was the only ambulance for many years serving this hospital. Through donations from Libyans abroad and also from international organizations, the hospital now also has an ambulance from Germany. One from the United Kingdom and one from Denmark. Dr. Salem Lengi came over with a team of nine doctors from Benghazi three weeks ago to help out in Jadu Hospital. Uh, whatever you see now is uh, that um, a lot of equipment here were provided uh, for the past four weeks, uh, this this theater has two main theaters at the start, but we uh, we add the third one the last four weeks. We got some equipments uh, from uh, from by donation from different organization and from the normal people, mostly Libyans or from the Qataris government, and they provide the the operative tables and uh, the machines. Uh, Minding most of this, it didn't exist before that, and the hospital were in desperate need for these machines and this theater. Uh, this hospital serves about maybe 50,000, 60,000 inhabitants in this area. This hospital had no had no orthopedic service before, 
uh, we were, I think, the first to provide. Um, uh, it's the first time that uh, the hospital has been provided with orthopedic services. We had this uh, extra machine which we get on with the second hand one we got from abroad uh, two days ago. And as well as we got the brand new orthopedic sets for trauma, for external fixators, for war injuries patients. And we can do even a different treatment here and there is no need uh, for people to travel to Tunisia for, to start for treatment as did they did before. A fighter wounded in the battle near Zintan is just being brought in. And then more casualties come in from the battle near Zintan. The guy has um, two gunshots to his uh, to his right thigh, so he has fracture, open fracture of the right femur, and has an injury to his left knee as well. He has um, bullet. I think it's more of a sharpness than uh, than bullets, you know. And to his left forearm, so he needs the sh surgery just to fix his right femur and exploration of his uh, wounds, other wounds in his left knee and left uh, forearm. You know, is is not is ser serious injuries, but it's not life threatening. This for one, and uh, there's another patient is uh, abdominal injury, bullets to his abdomen. That he needs to go in before that. Is the laboratory need laboratory and exploration? Be done with the surgery. That's it. That, that's, uh, that sounds more serious. Yes, more serious, yeah. At sunset, Jadu looks all quiet again and peaceful and beautiful overlooking these ancient ruins of the western mountains. But the town has seen fierce shelling in the past two months and a lot of reconstruction is needed in many ways. And across this gorge, further west, the fighting still goes on. Jornagok for Libya.tv from Jadu. Nafusa.